Hey guys, good morning. So, I know some of you might still be asleep or busy, but I wanted to go ahead and come on because I'm about to do my yoga session for the day. And I thought I might as well go live to share it with you guys and show you guys some of my favorite poses. Um, and also, you know, show you how the practice goes. So, I'm just go ahead and start. Um, the first pose I'm going to do is the downward dog. And it seems to be like a really simple pose, but once you like get on your mat and actually go for it, you'll realize it's a lot more um, invigorating and you need a lot of control to actually go for it. Hello, thanks for hopping on. Hi guys, um, just for the people who just started joining, um, I'm going to go ahead and share a few yoga poses that I like. And I was just about to practice, so I thought I might as well come on live. Alright guys. So this is going to be the downward dog. First take a deep breath. Come on down. It seems simple, right? But it actually is a really good stretch for your hamstrings. As well as for your back. And it even works on your core. What you can do in downward dog, you could incorporate different things. So we could do um, one leg up. So this is the three-legged downward dog. Go ahead and do the other side. Let's keep it even. And also, what I like to do here is bend my knees and look forward. That's really engaging your core. And come on back up. And then here, if you really want to engage your core, you go ahead and bend this leg. Engage your abs and go ahead and take it across to this opposite elbow. Come on straight. Do the other side. Do it on the left now. From here, I really like this pose. It's called Chaturanga. I really hope it's still recording. My phone's telling my storage. Awesome. And from downward dog, like I was saying, I like to go and take Chaturanga. So what you do to do that is you come into like a plank, plank position. Remember to breathe. You're gonna bend your elbows, but kind of keep them 90 degrees. Look forward. And then another tip, whenever you're tired or feeling like you need a break, this is child's pose here. And I like to separate my knees so I have space for my body. It's more comfortable. And you can take your breaths here, your rest. This is also super good um, for meditation. It's a really nice pose. And another one of my favorites. There's a wasp. I'm scared. Those stings really hurt. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get me. So we're gonna take this knee, bend it, and slide it forward. And this back leg is straight here. So this one's really good for your hamstrings, your quads. Good for if also um, you're trying to work on your splits. It's a good pose. I'm gonna just switch legs. Slide forward. And 
And I just want to add, um, I know yoga could be intimidating, but it's really not. Once you get on your mat, some poses are going to be hard and tough and all that, but it'll be really, really rewarding. It'll pay off because you'll start to notice progress, and it's also really good to kind of like tone out. It's also really good for getting fit. So yoga has all types of benefits. And in the same pose, you could lean forward. You could twist. You could hold this back leg and pull it forward. This is like one of the prettiest poses here. And I like to always switch sides, just to make sure I'm getting as even as possible. And you'll notice that one side of your body, a lot of the time, is more tight. So not everybody's perfect, for sure. Outside cats are fighting. And then for um, those of you that don't know, I actually have scoliosis. So yoga is freaking amazing for any type of um, spine issue, spine pain, back pain. Even um, if you have leg pain, sciatica, it's, it's good for so, so much. Um, if you guys ever want to start yoga, feel free to send me a message. I'll be more than happy to get you started. Or if you need any tips or anything like that. Now I'm just going to do a tiny bit of a meditation here. So what you want to do is get into a comfortable position and just kind of take deep breaths and do your best to clear your mind. I know it could be really hard, um, but also when you meditate, a lot of the times you think very clearly. So it's not always about totally clearing your mind. It's about kind of quieting away all the negative the stressful, the, the things you're worried about, kind of like quiet that down, but at the same time trying to like raise the volume of your inner feelings and your inner thoughts and your inner dreams and goals and aspirations. So you'll notice that when you're in a meditation, uh, you come to like kind of like realizations. You're like, holy crap, I figured out, you know, what I want to do or you know, I figured out this and that, it's really awesome. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes here. And what you could do, you could place your hands on your knees. You could um, do here, you could do uh, mantras. So this is the next one. As well as if you have anxiety like myself. Um, I hope you guys, I'll get up and show you. So it looks like this. So you're gonna take your hands, put your middle things, fingers together, bend your pointer fingers, and then put your thumbs together. And it also helps if you have it on your heart chakra. So that'll really help for your anxiety. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that meditation now. Clear your mind, quiet those negative thoughts. It helps to kind of focus on a tiny little noise that you hear. So right now I hear like the birds chirping. I'm going to kind of like focus on that as I quiet my mind.
like I said, um, sometimes you'll have these super clear thoughts. And any type of thought, good or bad, just kind of accept it, let it come in, and just breathe it out. open your eyes. Some of the first times that you actually do succeed in a meditation, sometimes you, you'll notice that you feel kind of like strange afterwards, like intensely calm. Um, just roll with it. It's so good for you. And it's really a really perfect way to either start your morning or to end your night or whenever, you know, you're feeling extra stressed. So yeah, thank you so much for practicing with me today. Um, if you did get on your mat, thank yourself for getting on your mat. And thank you for watching. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you would like to see more videos like this. I would love to know. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good one.